Today we're going to be copying and pasting WebP files straight into PowerPoint or any other application. On the accompanying article to this video, I've got a couple of example images here. Uh, we have one here of a puppy and what we're going to do instead of going through the if I firstly try and co just copy this image into PowerPoint, um, what's going to happen, you'll see we just get a well appears to be a blank box. Uh, the recommended way is to save the image, then go back and insert it. There is a cheap way of doing this, which I'm going to demonstrate. We use the snippet tool. On a Windows keyboard, it's Windows key, shift and S, and it brings up the snippet tool. We select the part of the image we want, release the mouse, we go straight to PowerPoint, Control and V, and we have just copied and pasted a WebP file into PowerPoint. Uh, very quickly, we appreciate your time, so we'll do this as quickly as possible. Randomly, we've got a picture here of a, a pie and a sausage roll. Uh, again, we can select the part of the image we want. Um, we can go straight to PowerPoint, Control and V, and it pastes a WebP file into PowerPoint. Um, we can do the same with Word. Let's just go back to that same image. Uh, this time we only want a kind of header uh, for uh, a pie and a sausage roll document that we're preparing. Uh, we jump over to Word, Control and V, and it's pasted in the section that we want. So that's the kind of cheat way of copying and pasting WebP files. Uh, finally, WebP supports transparent background. If you have to maintain the transparency in the background, you, you have to go through the traditional way, which involves saving the image first of all. So we've saved this image here of the puppy with a transparent background. Uh, and of course, we have to go to PowerPoint, insert picture from this device, and we can bring in the, the image maintaining the transparency. So this has to be done. Uh, the traditional way rather than uh, the copy and paste cheat way. We could, of course, uh, Windows key, shift and S. We could, of course, just bring this straight in, but it's not going to maintain transparency in the background. As we can see, we have a white background here. And very quickly, if you're using a Mac, the command for the snippet tool is shift, command and five, then command and V to paste. Nice and quick, nice and easy. Thanks for watching. Computrain.